I am Chloé. Chloé, eau de parfum. I am Chloé. Chloé, eau de parfum. Hello and welcome to the TL Business 90 Second News Update. Here are this week's top stories. Dufri CEO Julian Diaz has spoken of Chinese tourism conglomerate H&A Group's very important role as a shareholder in the Dufri business. In an exclusive interview with TL Business during last month's TFWA CAN event, Diaz revealed that Dufri has already held several meetings with H&A across areas including airlines, hotel and tour operations. Lotte Duty Free has filed an unfair trade practice report to South Korea's Fair Trade Commission, accusing Incheon International Airport Corporation of creating conditions which disadvantage the airport duty free shop operator at the airport. This follows three previously unsuccessful attempts by Lotte Duty Free to try to renegotiate its Incheon Airport contracts. Delegates attending this month's MEDFA conference who had hoped to hear Prime Minister Said Hariri's welcome address at the Phoenicia Hotel will be disappointed following his shock resignation over the weekend. This unexpected development occurred while Hariri, President of the Council of Ministers, was visiting Saudi Arabia, where he said he feared an assassination plot against him. And finally, Cathay Pacific Airways' share price slipped by almost 5% on Monday, following Qatar Airways' move to acquire a 9.6% stake in the East Asian carrier. Qatar's flag carrier had early announced an agreement to purchase shares from Hong Kong-based Kingboard Chemical Holdings. That's all for this week. Thank you and goodbye.